identity. So once we know our identity, who we are, you know, we then can lean on God. In every situation, in every circumstance, in every day. Because we know that God loves us. God is love. God is our Father. You know, so whatever we go through, no matter how rough or how bad the situation is, no matter the trials, no matter the struggles, He is still with us. And the Holy Spirit is the comfort of the counselor who, you know, who guides us and gives us that discernment to know and help us to make decisions who will always be available to us. So when we know our identity, we can have the confidence to approach our Father, you know, to, to pray with confidence, to know that He will hear and because we're praying within His will. And also, when we know our identity, if the answer is not from God, we we'll still have Him here. Yeah. Because we know our identity, we know that He He's got great plans for us and He's plans that to prosper us, not to harm us. So he's oh whatever he says not to, he knows what the end result will be. He knows that the end result is not as good as we are thinking at that particular time. Mm. So when we know who we are in Christ, it, it just gives us that comfort and confidence in knowing that God is watching over us and is what you know, he, he is protecting us and is he's there for us. Mm-hmm. He's there for us. So knowing the identity will help us, you know, when you're talking about us uh, uh, moving into the king, king, king kingship or mm. kingly uh, king role and mm. having the authority, yeah. mm. you know, it's by knowing that we are children of the Most High, the King of Kings mm. and the Lord of Lords, that will make us shift yeah. into that position mm. of authority. Like me, I can't claim to be the King of England or Queen of England because I'm not part of that lineage. Mm. So once I... William, who knows that, uh, you know, he's part of that and he's going to be next to He can claim that. Mm. So once you know your identity to say, my father is the king, mm. you can exercise his authority. You can stand in, in, his, uh, in, in, in his shoes and you can go out and say, that I am saying do this because mm. I've got the authority from my dad who is the king. Mm. So the identity is important for us to know. I know we as we know as um, intercessors, we pray. We know our duty as uh, standing in the gap for other people, you know, mm-hmm. interceding for. But the kingship, uh, and being accepting that authority as a king, comes from knowing who we are in Christ mm-hmm. and having that confidence of knowing that um, our Father has given us that authority. Mm-hmm. It's already delegated. It's a done deal. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's something that we have to use because we've already been given. And if we are not using that authority that we've been given, then we are shortchanging ourselves. We are living a life of at a, at a lower standard than, than what God is expecting us to be living at. Because He's given us authority to speak things into being, to you know, to declare things. You know, you know, when, when that guy said, "Oh, now the third thing you are missing is an ambulance," and I said, "You know, <laughs> you know I'm not going to get it." Two so days later, I was doing um. A, a, a ticket. This elderly woman, she was walking around, she was doing her shopping, and then she came and stood where I was, very close, and she had a black eye. Oh, and then she swerved as if she was going to fall. And I could see her being held against, you know, you, you know yeah. I think sometimes I think, is it my imagination or is God? Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was pressed against the bridge like this, and she didn't drop down. Mm-hmm. And she sort of recovered. So I said, are you okay? She said, I've just had a black eye. Oh. And I'm thinking, this is what the man yes, was saying. Yes. You know, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same thing of your But I said, you know, it's not happening Jesus. in Jesus' name. Yeah. You know, it's not happening. So yeah. that lady, she's an elder. She would have ended up on the ground. Yeah. She would have been yeah. holding her. Yeah. God bless. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. You know, so, you know, we have to accept the authority yeah. and not just accept anything that yeah. is wrong to us. You know, there's some things that will happen. We, we can't change them, but as long as we, we are under the coverage of God, He will sustain us. But there's some things we have to just say no to and give the authority to. Yeah. We have to say, no, this is not happening. You know, this is not happening. I refuse this in Jesus' name. Um, so 
just quickly note on Krista Marshall, we both talked in many ways mm. about you know it's our identity and we need to use it yeah. because the more we use it the bolder we become when we become more and you know I was talking to Dale is about when she went to when she went home when I went to America it's as if people want you to be mm. they just want you there in their midst you know because they can sense God in you mm. and they're mm. saying Oh, so you're going. Why not stay a bit more? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's because yeah. it's not because of me. Mm. It's because of God. I don't want to get yeah. and I'm thinking, you know, just you know, yeah. I have to go back. But something was telling me it's because they need God mm. you know, in their lives and I don't know. Wow. Yeah, and yeah. you and you're thinking, you, but you know what to do. Why aren't you doing it? And it's kind of difficult, and you feel sorry for them in a way. But in a way, you can't live their lives for them. You can't stay there. Mm. And then they need people to help them jumpstart. Mm. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's true. yeah. yeah. It is. yeah. yeah. So. Sometimes. So when yeah. I'm there. Well, you know, as I was telling mm-hmm. Dale, oh, let's pray, and it's, oh, we, we can't pray now. Yeah. Then you're thinking, okay, <laughs> what do I do now? You know, so, but God mm. gave me that strategy mm. of, you know, say, just pray. Mm. Because when you're praying in that house, they're feeling it anyway. Mm. Yeah. And that, you know, they will find a part of it, you, they will take a part of it. Yeah. And, you know, so, yeah. but wherever, what I want to say is wherever we go, we take Christ with yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. things will happen. What's Amen. happened to our sister Rafaela? Yeah. You know, I just lost the sister as well. Oh, did just you? came back here. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, no. but God is there. God, yeah. God will God hides it. I didn't know she would die. God mm. you know, I didn't know. I thought I would see her last December, but it's God and God has done it. And there's nothing we can do about it. We just need to move forward. But God is always there. God, God. It says in the book of Deuteronomy that the things God reveals to us belongs to us and our children forever. But the things that He doesn't reveal to us belongs to Him. And you know, those are some things. Some things God will not reveal to us. We don't know the answer, but it's in Him. I think the identity is so important mm. because yeah. um, we are doing a at our devotion um, we did um, your husband took us on identity, identity. Um, on Monday you know mm. and so yeah it is identity is not what we do mm. it is who we are oh, yeah. Yeah. so we need to be able to separate those two we're very good mm. at doing, doing. Mm-hmm. You know, and this is why I didn't want to make it about doing, no. but rather about being. Being, mm. yes. You know, mm. because God wants to be with mm. us, and Amen. He wants us to be with Him. Amen. So everything that is where our confidence, mm. our full confidence, about when we now walk, we walk with, we walk in confidence yes. because we have been with our Father. Mm. You know, we haven't done anything, we haven't, you know, we haven't tried to impress, you no. know, this is it, it's just that I've just been with him and I've come away from him, you know, so you are able to kind of give out of that, so we go into the boldness and into the confidence of that and we just kind of really build on that, mm. so I think that is, that has to be going forward a key that we remind ourselves and we remind each other mm. who we are in him. Mm. Outside of him it's nothing. It's yeah, in him. You know, because there is more to come mm. for what he wants. You know, so if we are caving, you know, mm. now how are we going to do the is it is this scripture that says you you are weary when you run with um, when you run with horses, mm. when you run with something, mm. how can you be? <laughs> yeah, when you now run with horses, mm. you know, and this is where he is um, taking us and taking the body of Christ, you know, so there is so much more yes. that he wants to do through us, you know, but we have to start and get that confidence of knowing who we are. Yeah. Okay.
it's interesting that you, you say that because when I work with children and families at times, quite retired, I found the children I felt the most confident were the yes. ones who knew who knew who they were. As young as they were, they were able to tell you, my name mm-hmm. is so and so so and so, my dad is so and so, my mom is so and so. They can tell you everything about the family. And they were so confident. Not, not saying they don't be shy away from anything. They were so confident. So where did this lack of confidence? Because that, well, as you were saying, I just remember, <coughs> I remember um, um, Vanessa saying the same thing um, that um, I think she went out with a couple of kids and they were so, she just had to encourage them once or twice and they were, <laughs> they were just there, you know, no shame, no bad, mm. all the barriers have just dropped, mm. you know, to, it was like, oh, whereas you, with the adults, you have to try to control it, you know, encourage so many times. Mm-hmm. But with the younger ones, they, they, they just that freedom, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so, and yeah. what, what happens is that as we are growing, the children, they start like that. Mm-hmm. They have the, the creativity mm-hmm. that God has given them. But as you're growing, the society they growing in begin to yeah. define and limit them. Oh, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't. And gradually, they begin to lose that, and then they tend to then believe that they can't do it. And so as they are growing, then they become adults, then they have, it's a learned behavior. So they now, as adults, they've learned to, if, to keep quiet. To be, to be, so it limits their, and so as adults, they, then they remember, oh, we've been asked to keep quiet, or so it reminds them, it doesn't go away, it, it sort of leaves, but in children, you find that they, they exhibit, you, you watch them, they, they show, and those children too, who are being limited, you see the difference in the playing field, on the playing field, when you when I did a uh, children listen, observing them in the classroom and uh, just observing them in the field, mm. and you find a difference uh, in, even on the playing field, and you, you find how, and you can trace it to the family, mm. and they reflect, mm. they reflect the family. Okay. Uh, well, it's just a yeah. Well, I think we can some yeah, that's right. And we look the same to them. Yeah. Sometimes with that that identity is like we mentioned that you've got to know who you are. Yeah. Once you're a child of God, even if somebody says rubbish like the person who said she doesn't believe in speaking in tongues mm. that something wells up in you mm. yeah, and say, yeah. how dare you yeah. mm. in the house of God even if it wasn't in the spirit you came in you nobody invited you in and then mm. you want to exert your yeah, authority you know so sometimes we just get that I didn't know where it came from it's not mm. that I was I know right. that was you. Yeah. 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 yeah this is my brother's yeah. 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 no no we're speaking Tongues, you know, yeah. so sometimes something wells up in you. Mm. Mm. That, you know, you know, you can just kind of forget, you can't say anything. So we need to then pray. So that would be one of the first steps mm. in the baby going forward. Yeah. As for us as well um, in the house here, that we will pray that um, even as older believers, because I just think that God is a God of. Intergenerations, yes. and for what he wants to do in the end, he needs the older and the younger yes. walking 